Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mdeo J and it's been a long ass minute since I sat down and recorded a video for you guys. Now life has been doing its thing, but your girl has been active on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Facebook, on all the other social media platforms except for YouTube. I don't know why, it just kind of happened. But today I decided to sit down and play with a full range, yeah, I'd say pretty, pretty full range of new makeup items that I have not tried before. I also have my collaboration um, highlighter and eyeshadow that I really want to play with and do a nice, I want to do like a summertime dewy look. If you know what I mean, like I'm really feeling it, you know, I've got the off-shoulder movement going on. So I'm really feeling like doing something glowy, dewy, gorgeous, beautiful eyes and just enjoy playing with makeup. So yeah, if you want to see me do my thing, then keep on watching. So apologies if you can hear my fan in the background. It's very hot, so I really need air. But I'm going to start off with my Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. I do have a blog post up about this cream. I absolutely love it. So it's not my first time, but I've got a new jar. Thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury Makeup. I absolutely love their makeup and skincare items. I think their makeup is just absolutely beautiful, very effortless and gorgeous to use. I know we cost a pretty penny, but you only ever need a tiniest bit of their product so it does last a long time next I'm going to use my velour lip scrub now this is the Jeffree Star peach popsicle lip scrub I absolutely love his um, lip scrubs you guys know I wear a lot of lipsticks liquid lipsticks I swatch a lot as well so there you go <laughs> so um, I really need to make sure that my lips are no. Gorgeous. So I've used the lip scrub and I've put a little bit of lip moisturizer on my lips. Now we're going to go in with a primer. Now I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. Now I've got combination to oily skin so put Ideally, I like to go for a mattifying primer because I do exude a lot of oils, but as I said, I'm going for a dewy kind of glowy look. So I'm going to use a um, quite a bit of powder, but I'm going to use this hydrating jelly primer so that my skin is hydrated underneath. And I'll just use some powder just to ensure that I'm not an oily mess at the end of the day. So I'm going to be using this guy. This is what it looks like in the jar very very jelly like I've never used this before so let's hope <laughs> So the primer is on and I literally gave it quite a good number of minutes to see if it will dry into my skin. It's dried a little bit into my skin but it is sticky which is what I really really love. So we're going to go in with the infamous Juvia's Place foundation. Now guys, matching myself online was a pain in the ass. Honestly Juvia's Place, you either need to stock in stores here in the UK which would be the preferable option or at least put it on Beauty Bay like and the customs that came with this guy it, it's not funny it really isn't and I haven't even tried these these shades it might not even match me it might not it might not even match and I have 50 something pounds in customs I did buy quite a bit of Juvia Space product but still still it's still a lot of customs and I just pray to Lord Jesus that this thing matches me. Now on the website you can shade find yourself and it gives you, asks you questions about your undertones and color of your veins and all that good stuff. And the website recommended Gabon. Now Gabon to me looks too dark. Absolutely looks too dark. So I don't know but I bought it anyway. But then the one that I thought that I'm that would match me Zaria so I bought that one too anyway but yes 
we're gonna try it so you guys are seeing like a gazillion juvia space videos but i'm gonna do it anyway it comes in this gorgeous little tube packaging which kind of look bigger online if i'm just being honest like it's a little itty bitty tube but apparently you only need the tiniest bit anyway so this should last you a good time and it says that it's a velvety matte foundation which means it isn't going to be matte 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 it's just going to be a nice soft matte on the skin and it's the directions at the back it says apply product with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush with a sweeping and buffing motion all over the face it says it's full coverage this will last you 24 months and um what else is there made in italy and then you've got a list of ingredients at the back i absolutely love the packaging i love the whole launch of it i love the fact that the shades you know start from darkest to lightest you guys have heard all the splur about it i absolutely absolutely stand for this foundation launch and i am so so proud of juvia's face for the shades that they've brought out now i'm not involving myself in any foreign drama i love products so i'm going to talk about the products and not the people okay so please miss me with the bullshit about juvia space and all the jazz that surrounds juvia space i've heard good things about the foundation so i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it okay so <laughs> let's see when you open the cap it's what it looks like and i really love the fact that it's actually sealed so even testers when they go in store unless it's somebody actually purposely opens it at least you know that what you're going home with is the Orijojo original 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 so let us see i'm gonna go ahead and open gabon and let's see how so that's a tiny bit see how it matches me Okay, come on. I see you. Um, she ain't looking bad. Let's try Zaria right next to it, which is the one that I think I am. Right. Hmm. Okay. So it's kind of really, really warm here. So I'm going to say that I have darkened up a little bit. But I think in. The thing is, because I've got cool tone, undertone, I'm cool tone. And the way the shades are on the website, it's like it's cool tone versus warm tone type of shades. And so the shades jump around a lot. So I think I'm actually going to use Gabon now. Because it's more or less like what I am now. But Zaria, it will probably, it's too warm. But I could probably make it work in the winter months. To kind of give some warmth to my skin anyway so i think we are gonna go with gabon okay so i'm one of those wet sponge girls so they say a little bit goes a long way so let's start with my imperfections down here let's see how well she covers oh okay right Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face because I don't want this to take... I don't want this video to be one million years video. Okay. So let's go. people it takes a bit to shook me up this foundation is shooketh look at my neck look at my neck my neck never looks so good honey my neck never looks so good my neck looks good my face looks good oh my god oh I look amazing uh-huh love it it's shook 
the coverage though and it's comfortable af like i don't li i literally don't feel like i am wearing anything hello juvia's so that's kind of that's kind of i'm getting too excited yeah absolutely would only apply it with my beauty sponge like it didn't really absorb that much so which is good for me so i'm gonna go in with the juvia space concealer because i got the concealer as well and the concealer that I have is in shade 10. My beautiful friend, House of Sienna, also gifted me shade 10, which is very generous of her. So thank you so much, um, House of Sienna. She also gave me a, a Gabon, but I bought one as well so I could at least have a backup because I was going to shop from Juvia Space. So thank you so much, House of Sienna. I love you long time. God bless you. So the shade that I got um, in the concealer is shade 10. And I think it's... To me, I really like this kind of banana colors, you know, like, it's not too light. I don't think it's too light for me. I love the packaging. I love the Dofu applicator. It's so robust. Yeah, I live for it. So let's go in with that. I'm just going to leave that sit for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys the powders that I got. So, um, my gorgeous friend, House of Sienna, gifted me, I think, Gobi, which is one of their powder shades. And I think I bought Kalahari, or maybe the other way around. I know I bought one and she gifted me one. So, this is what Gobi looks like, which is like a banana, banana shade of powder. And this is the I Am Magic Setting Powder. It doesn't say specifically if it's only for under eye. It just says it's a setting powder. So I'm going to use it underneath my eyes. Right, so Kalahari is lighter, which is this guy. And this is Gobi. So Gobi is a little bit, a little bit warmer than Kalahari. So I think I'm going to go with Gobi because, yeah, I think it will sit nicely with it. So I'll go ahead and set my face once I blend the concealer out. So while that's setting, I think that the concealer and the powder work so well together. I've got smile lines around my mouth, so I like to bake that a little bit just so that it sets a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and cream contour. I know, I know, I know. I hardly ever cream contour. Usually only ever powder, but I really, really want to try the Huda Beauty um, contour and bronzer cream. Again, my girl, House of Sienna, love you long time gave me these guys to try out because I've never tried out any Huda Beauty skincare item skin product period only only eyeshadow and uh, lash glue so I'm really really excited to try these so she gave me shade medium and shade fair now don't be afraid <laughs> the fair isn't as fair as you think so I'll show you what the medium looks like and I'll swatch them on the back of my hand so this is what the medium looks like which is it's a little dark. It's a little dark. If I'm going to use it, it's going to be like the tiniest bit. And then I've got shade fair, which looks like this, which I think is a little more me. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try the fair first and see what that looks like. I'm just going to use a dense brush and this is the Morphe 512 brush. You know, I'm just going to swirl that in. And I really love, like, a cool tone contour as well. So, we'll see how this looks. Okay, no. This isn't going to contour me at all. It's more my skin tone. So, put this guy away. <laughs> wrong shade. Wrong shade. So, we'll try medium now. 
That looks exactly like my skin tone, like, what? Just clean my brush, and then go in with medium. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to use, honestly, the tiniest, tiniest bit to contour. Because it just looks so beautiful when it's not overdone. Gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm pushing it up a little bit because I don't want the line to come down. I'm just going to put some powder under the contour because I really want that line to be a little sharp. So base is semi there so I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because I've done that million times on camera. So I'm going to be right back. Okay. So my brows are on and I use the Technique Arc Envy Eyebrow Definer. I haven't used this before. This was first time and I like it. I like it. I also use the um, Makeup um, Academy Brow Pencil Brunette. This is the one that I use all the time. I absolutely love it. But this combination, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the combination. Pretty cute. So I'm going to go ahead with my eyeshadow and I'm going to start off using the Juvia's Face warrior palette i have never used this palette before to be honest after a while i was kind of off juvia's face um customs charges as well like it was just too much you know for a brand but i invested because they've been coming out with some bum ass palettes and your girl has been sleeping on them so i really invested in a few of their products this time around this is what the warrior palette looks like it's absolutely gorgeous it's such a beautiful bronzy summertime type of palette which i absolutely love and because that's the look we're going for we're going to be using this girl okra so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go off camera i'm going to do one eye and then i'll come back we'll do the other eyes together and i'll let you guys know my thoughts about the eyeshadow palette because as i said i've never used this palette before you guys can see it's brand new okay so i will be right back okay so this is what i've come up with this very glowy the attention should be on the face. I want the whole face to glow and gorgeousness. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the P. Louise base. And this is room number four. And I'm going to apply that all over. Marlid. Okay. Yes. And I like doing this with a flat brush. And the reason why I apply the P. Louise base is that it's a sticky base. Which is going to allow my eyeshadows pop. Um, so you want to take your time to blend this. I've seen some people use a dry sponge or beauty blender to blend it fast. Um, but I like to take my time to blend mine. And you know, you keep tapping it until it's sticky. Not wet, but sticky. And we're just going to do that. So I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. And it will allow the shadows to last longer stick better be more vibrant okay so now that my base is on i'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow and i'm gonna be using the juvia's face warriors palette as i mentioned and i'm gonna go in with kano and kano is this gorgeous brown shade just here in the corner it's a matte shade and i'm going to be using um a fluffy blending brush and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pat the eyeshadow onto the base in the crease area I'm not dragging at this point I'm just patting it in because I don't want any skips in my base
and then I'm going to go into Mino. Mino is this um, dark brown shade up in the in the corner there, and I'm going to be using the Sigma pointed crease brush and this is the E48 brush it's nice and long I really like this because I've got more control um, into the crease and I do have a discount code for Sigma and it's just Media J and I'm just applying this only into the crease area I'm not even applying into the outer V just in my crease and it's going to be blended in and the reason why I'm applying is just so that when I apply the bronzy shimmer shade on top it kind of just blends a little bit into the crease and it just looks seamless so I'm only using a little bit of that shade and then I'm gonna fully blend it out with Kano again okay the same brush that I used going back into Kano and now I am blending I'm not just tapping, I'm actually blending it in. Because I really want a faint, just a faint darkness there. And this is kind of what I am after. Next, I'm going to go in with my collaboration eyeshadow, Bing! the concise, I've already poured a little bit in the cap, that's why I don't want to show you guys, but the concise, and the concise is a bronzy, um, copper type of tone, I'm going to swatch it for you guys, absolutely stunning, so that's what it looks like, and you see how beautiful it is it's just really really beautiful shade so I'm gonna apply that all over my lid but before I apply that I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to apply the P. Louise base I'm not adding any more product I'm only going with the residue of the product on there and what I want to do is I'm going to apply the base again just a little bit and bring it up into my crease the tiniest bit and that's just so that the loose shadow can have a good base to stick to and I'm not covering up the crease work that we've just done just blending that up just the tiniest bit and then I'm gonna go in with my brush I'm gonna give it a little spritz or you can take a wet wipe like I'm doing now and this has become a tutorial as opposed to a testing video but you know you know how I do so I'm just gonna dampen my brush a little bit and I'm going into the double down X media J the concise packing a lot on my brush and then I'm just tapping in now obviously it's a loose eyeshadow so there is fallout but that's why I left my powder and as you guys can see it's just it's just stunning it's just a stunning color and I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid so this is what we're looking like so far. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brow bone highlight like I've done that because I really want it to be glowy. And I'm going to go into my collaboration. So I've got the Double Down X Media J in the Confidence and this is a highlighter. I absolutely love it. It's a loose highlighter. I call it more like a cool tone type of bronze gold shade because it isn't rose gold it, it's on me anyway it doesn't look like that so that's what I call it and it's the collaboration um, with Double Down Cosmetics that I'm so so proud of so I'm gonna clean my brush and it's the same brush that I used to apply the lid color that's because I just want it slightly damp and I'm gonna go into a little bit of the confidence and I'm just going to apply it on my brow bone. So I absolutely love the way both of them applied. You guys know I live for my collaboration. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's just 
beautiful. So next I'm going to go into my waterline and lower lash line. I'm going to be using the Inglot 77. This isn't new on my channel. I use this quite a lot. But I'm going to apply this into my waterline. I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I had my P. Louise base with no extra product and I'm just going to drag that a little bit underneath my lash line just so that I've got a base for the um, eyeshadow I'm going to put it on my lower lash line so I'm going to go back in with that shade Cano and I'm just going to tap it on it. And that's the eyes done for now. I'm going to go back to my face. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dust off this extra powder that I put on my face before I set my entire face. Actually, no, I'm going to set my entire face with the powder on top and then I'll just dust everything away. So I'm going to use my Black Opal powder. I absolutely love this powder. Um, it's a velvety matte powder as well and I use the shade Medium. So I'm just going to do this with a brush and just go over. Honestly, I love the way the powder just sits on my face. Like It just looks really, really nice. And then when you spray it, it kind of all just blends in and melts in and looks fabulous so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of contouring slash bronzing and I'm gonna use the benefit cosmetics hula toasted bronze and I bought this um, when I heard that the shade had expanded and I'm absolutely chuffed that I did I've been using it quite a lot off camera and it's such a beautiful color but trust me guys like a little goes a long way especially in this shade and this is the shade toasted um, so I just take a little bit on my brush like literally just a little bit and I just tap it's so pigmented but it's so beautiful As I'm working on my face, I can notice that the lines underneath my eyes are breaking. So maybe the powder isn't setting it properly. So I think it might not be the best for under eye setting. But, you know, we're going to crack on. I just noticed that a little bit as time is going on. But, yeah, let's see. Next, I'm going to add some blush. So I'm going to use the Juvia's Face, the Saharan blush volume one palette and I really want something orangey maybe mixed with a little bit of brown so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two shades together and it's Abby and Toby I'm going to mix them and see what we get I've forgotten how pigmented this palette is. So pigmented. Set my face. I'm going to apply the Glow Motions Rio Sunset Glow Oil on my neck area because I'm going to spray um, really nice glowy spray on it and this is what the bottle looks like this thing smells divine I really wish you guys could smell this thing 
Um, I always struggle with what to apply it with. But I think I'm going to go ahead and apply it with this brush. Oh, look at that. It's just beautiful. It smells divine. And it just gives that, oh, you see that? Tiniest bit gives that extra shine. I'm going to go ahead with the Mario Badet spray first. Just to lock everything in. And I'm going in with my Couture Baby and Cara scarf. I've had a few people ask me where I get this scarf from. So I hope I remember to link her Instagram down below. But she's got way uh, more styles now which are stunning. My lashes are on. I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter. And of course, I'm going to be using Double Down X Media J Highlighter in the Confidence because your girl's feeling pretty confident at the moment. I am loving the way this look came out. The way this look is coming out. So I'm going to apply this. And I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics um, X my Ray Ray, it's my Ray Ray brush. This is from a brush set. I'm just going to apply it with this brush and tapping it a little bit off. And you guys will see the magic. Just watch. So what I like to do is I like to tap it on first. And then blend it. See what I mean? And I love the control that it gives. So I tap on. And then blend. See? Woo child! It's like dipped in honey honey. Oh yeah. It's just so pretty. And I'm not going to apply any in my temples like I normally do. I just want to keep the drama, oh child, keep the drama on my cheekbones only. I might put a little bit in my tear, no I'm not going to put any in my tear up there right now. I'm just going to keep the drama on my cheekbones honey. Ooh, girl. They ain't ready. July 23rd, peeps. Get your wallets out. My code, Media J, will be working. And you guys will get a nice little discount on this. And as I, you know, have said on my Instagram, both the products are going to be sold together. And also individually. Together will be $34 and individually and I really like how much control it gives you like oh and you can just keep adding on but I think that's good I think we don't stop there I don't want to get too carried away and I'm gonna put just a little bit on my invisible collarbone <laughs> now I'm going in with my lip combination and I want something really glossy and glowy so I'm gonna go in with the Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil in mudslide and then I'm gonna go over it with the Jouer lip topper in tan lines and I'm really gonna pile that on because I want to give the gloss <laughs>
So this is the finished look guys. What do you think girl? I'm in love. I put bill for freckles. Don't clock me. First time I'm trying it. You know, I'm going to get better. I just wanted to put some. I want to try it out. But yeah, I think I absolutely love every single item that I used today. The Juvia's Place product blew me away. Um, I know the setting powder. We had a little bit of an issue. Um, I probably wouldn't leave it cooking for a while. I think it's just supposed to apply and dust away. So maybe my bad. I need to test it out a little bit more before I give my final thoughts. So this is kind of like, you know, first impression. I was just testing out these products. I absolutely love the Huda Beauty um, contour. The contour and, cream, and bronzer cream. I love it. It's like butter and it just blended into my skin like butter absolutely love it love the hula um bronzer from benefit cosmetics even i can't even talk my brain's going faster than my lips but I absolutely love my collaboration with double down cosmetics i love the highlighter girl get into it and i love the um taupey bronze color on my lid get into it so 23rd of July, shameless plug, make sure you check Double Down and use my code MIDEJ to save some sh money. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video, I hope you enjoyed the look. It kind of turned more into a tutorial than me testing out these products, but maybe because I was loving it. There isn't a product that I used today that I wouldn't use again, so in that essence, I'm really, really happy. It's been a successful video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you haven't subscribed, I am judging you, like legit judging you because it's not fair. It's 2019. If you're going to watch your girl, you're going to have to hit the subscribe button. Like that's how it works. Like how do you expect me to grow? How do you expect this channel to be here in 2020 if you're not subscribed? I'm just, just asking okay so please go ahead and click the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up it helps me know that you guys enjoy videos like this when you do give it a thumbs up if you love me even more just go ahead and leave me a little comment it really helps the soul and i'll catch you guys in a future video remember god doesn't like ugly so be nice to someone today okay bye guys